eighteen organization of life book by cancers take page number two hundred and fifteen choose the best answer first one sclera uh, is talked and thick white sheath that protects the inner part of our eye second one dash cells are specialized cells that can be transformed into any kind of cells or stem answer b third one maintenance of constant internal environment of the body is known as homeostasis answer a fourth one in the absence of oxygen glucose is broken down into lactic acid answer a fifth one the process of air passing in and out the lungs is called breathing answer is c sixth one osmosis is the movement of water molecules from answer is a higher concentration to a region of lower concentration seventh one the erythrocyte is placed in dash solution which has lesser concentration of so solutes and greater concentration of water than in the cytoplasm na hypotonic the answer is a next to fill in the blanks dash is the structural and functional unit of living organisms answer is cell second one the largest cell is egg of an dash na ostrich the uh, third one the dash is a good example for anaerobic respiration you no know, fermentation fourth one dash nerve is located at the end of the eyes behind the retina you no know, optic fourth one the size of the cells are measured in units of microns third match the following carbohydrates glucose glucose co2 water and heat protein amino acid amino acids enzymes hormones proteins fatty acids uh, cholesterol and other steroids next state true or false first one in hypotonic condition the concentration of the external and the internal solution of the organisms are same the answer is false second one diffusion is the movement of particles from an area of lower concentration to higher concentration the answer is false third one human beings are warm blooded in nature the answer is true fourth one the latinx has fold of tissue which vibrate the answer is true vibrate with the passage of air to produce sound is true fifth one aquarius humor plays an important role in maintaining the shape of the eye answer is true next one fifth one answer very briefly first one what is cell differentiation the page number 206 206 la in the passage full la our body is developed from a single cell called zygote the zygote undergoes continuous meiotic division and forms the fortis consisting multitude of cells of different shape size and content fortal cells gradually attain change in structure and function this process is known as cell differentiation up to this fifth roman letter first question second one state different types of tissues page number 207 207 la the types of tissues la depending on the basis of their structure and function tissues can be classified into four types epithelial covering tissues for production muscular the contractile tissue for movements and locomotion next third third point connective 
supporting tissue for binding different structure of body fourth one nervous tissue for con conduction of nerve impulse up to this fifth roman letter second question third question mention the functions of alveoli page, page number 210 alveoli or tiny air sacs in the lungs that are located at the end of the bronchial tubes which is microscopic in nature it is meant for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide up to this fifth normal letter third question fourth question name the processes by which air enters and comes out of our lungs page number 210 the mechanism of breathing la the inspiration inhalation la the process of taking air into the lungs is called inspiration or inhalation up to this next one uh, expiration exhalation la the process of expelling air from the lungs is called expiration or exhalation up to this uh, fifth roman letter la fourth question fifth one differentiate osmoconformers and osmoregulators page number 213 osmoconformers la adile uh, first para these organizations try to maintain the osmolality of their body matching with their surroundings most of the invertebrates marine organisms are osmoconformers up to this next point osmo regulators these organisms maintain maintain their internal osmolality which can be extremely different from that of the surrounding environment through physiological processes up to this fifth point fifth, fifth roman letter fifth question sixth question define metabolism page number 214 metabolism metabolism is the sum of chemical reactions by which living organisms sustain their life metabolism consists of anabolism the build up of substances and catabolism the breakdown of substances up to this fifth roman letter sixth question sixth roman letter answer briefly first one define prokaryotic cells 205 some organisms like bacteria cyanobacteria and mycoplasma the true nucleus is absent these organisms are called prokaryotes hmm. this is the roman letter la first question second one tabulate the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration page number 213 213 la in the table column difference between the aerobic and anaerobic respiration the three points the three point aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen the end of the product Uh, the end of the products of aerobic respiration or the carbon dioxide and water the end of the products of anaerobic respiration or co2 and the ethanol or la lactic acid in this aerobic common in all higher plants and animals an anaerobic common in certain microorganisms and human muscle cell up to this 66th roman letter second question third question why the human eye is compared with camera page number 208 and the eyes of uh, photo erector la in the in the last uh, five lines la the human eye can be compared to a camera as both functions by gathering focusing and transmitting the light through the lens for creating an image of an object idvarai kelidite next vandu the iris iris la vandu 
the iris of the eye control the size of the pupil depending on the amount of light entering it up to this LDT. Next to pupil. Pupil la, the pupil is like eye hole of a camera other LDT which allows light to come in. Abdine. Next lens. Lens it is a transparent by convex and an adjustable part of an eye made up of protein. The lens with the help of the cornea refract light which coverage on the retina and creates images on it. Next one retina. It is the layer present at the back of the I, where all the images are formed, the retina functions by converting the light rays into impulses and sending the signals to the brain through the optic nerve. Up to this uh, sixth Roman letter, third question. Fourth question, which organ and organ system help to maintain a homeostasis? Page number 211. Homeostasis, la. homeostasis is a property of human biological system where the self-regulating process tends to maintain the balance for the survival. Up to this, you can see that behavioral and physiological responses are the two important regulating mechanisms that maintain the stability of Homeostatuses. Next, another paragraph. All the processes of in integration and coordination of functions are mediated by nervous and hormonal system. The liver, kidney and brain, the hypothalamus, autonomic nervous system and the endocrine system help to maintain Homeostatuses up to this 6th Roman letter, 4th question. Next, 7th Roman letter, answer in detail. 1st question, draw the structure of human eye and label its parts. This is an important question, page number 208. The structure of human eye, you can draw and label the parts. This is the 7th Roman letter, 1st question, detail. Second question, explain osmosis with an example, page, hand, page number 212. Okay. The osmosis, osmosis is the movement of solvent particles across a semi-permeable membrane from a dilute solution into the concentrated solution. The solvent moves to dilute the Concentrator solution and equalize the concentration on both sides of the membrane. The movement of liquid in and out of the cells is dependent on the concentration of the solution surrounding it. There are three types of situations in which this could vary. The isotonic first point here the concentration of external and internal solutions of the organisms are the same. Hypotonic. Here is the external solution. Concentration is less compared to the concentration of the inner solution of an organism. In the case of water, will rush into the organism. Hypertonic. Here the external solution concentration is greater than the concentration of the inner solution of an organism. In this case, the water will rush out the organism up to the 7th Roman letter. Second question. Third one, differentiate between the inhalation and exhalation, page number 210. Differentiate between inhalation and exhalation. Uh, inhalation, the muscles of the uh, diaph diaphragm contract. The exhalation, the muscles of the diaphragm relax. The diaphragm goes downward. The diaphragm goes upward. The ribs move upward and the outwards. The ribs move downwards. The volume of uh, thoracic chest cavity increases. The volume of uh, thoracic chest cavity decreases. 
air enter the lungs through the nose air goes out the lungs through the nose up to the seventh roman letter third question list out the different types of metabolism with an example 214 page number the metabolism metabolism is the sum of chemical reaction by which living organism sustain their life metabolism consists of anabolism the build up of substances and catabolism the breakdown of substances the term metabolism is commonly used to refer specifically to the breakdown of food and its the term metabolism is commonly used to refer specifically to the breakdown of foods and its transformation into energy cellular products and the waste elimination next point a anabolism anabolism or constructive metabolism is all about build building and storing it it supports the growth of new cells the maintenance of body tissues and the storage of energy for use in the future during the anabolism small molecules are changed into large more complex molecules of carbohydrates protein and fat example glucose glycogen and other sugars amino acids enzymes hormones proteins fatty acid cholesterol and other steroids b catabolism catabolism or destructive metabolism is the process the, that produces the energy required for all activity in the cells in this process cells break down large molecules mostly carbohydrates and fats to release energy this energy release provides fuel for anabolism heats the body and enable the muscles to contract and the body to move as complex chemical units are broken down into more simple substances the waste products released in the process of catabolism are removed from the body through the skin kidney lungs and intestine examples carbohydrates glucose glucose co2 water and heat protein amino acid up to the seventh roman letter of fourth question fifth question explain the mechanism of mechanism of breathing page number 210 mechanism of breathing inspiration inhalation the process of ta- taking air into the lungs is called inspiration or inhalation during the inspiration the sternum is pushed up and the outwards and the diaphragm is pulled down this increases the volume of thoracic cavity and thus the pressure decreases the air outside the body flows into the lungs here exchange of gases takes place between the air and the blood next one expiration exhalation the process of expelling air from the lungs is called expiration or exhalation upon exhalation the lungs recoil to force the air out of the lungs the intercostal muscles relax returning the chest wall to its original position during exhalation the diaphragm also relaxes moving higher into the thoracic axis increases the pressure within the thoracic cavity relaxes to the environment air rushes out the lungs due to the pressure gradient this moment of air out of the lungs is a passive event up to this seventh roman letter the fifth question 